Where does India currently stand in the world? Part 2 In the last video we saw the multiple programs undertaken by DRDO for avionics. We saw the different AVs manufactured in our homeland, namely the Nishant, Lagzia, and Rustam. We also saw the different armament programs and upgrades to modern warfare equipments namely the INSAs and grenades. Different explosives have been also manufactured in India, CL-20 explosive is one of them. We also the different missile launchers. We also saw about the different floating bridges systems. This is second part of the video which shows the ballistics and other radars to detect the enemy movement. Major Ballistic Missiles Agni-1 Agni-1 missile is an intermediate range ballistic missile. Agni I used solid propulsion booster and a liquid propulsion upper stage, derived from Prithvi, essentially to prove the re-entry structure, control and guidance. Agni-2 missile The range for Agni-2 is performance, repeated guidance more than 2000 km. The salient features of performance capability and salvo firing the test firings are mobile launch capability, capability. With the completion of above multi-staging, state-of-the-art control and flight trials, the design and development of guidance, re-entry technology. A cache missile is a medium-range surface-to-air missile with multi-target engagement capability. It uses high-energy solid propellant for the booster and ram rocket propulsion for the sustainer phase. BrahMos Missile BrahMos Missile is a supersonic cruise missile and can be used against ship and land targets. It has a range of up to 300 km. The missile is uniquely configured for installing in ships, submarines and aircraft and on ground vehicles. Danush Missile Danush missile is a variant of the surface-to-surface -surface or ship-to-ship -ship Prithvi 3 missile, which has been developed for the Indian Navy. It is capable of carrying both conventional as well as nuclear warheads with payload capacity of 500 kg to 1000 kg and can strike targets in the range of 350 km. Prayer missile is a solid fuel rocket surface to surface guided short range tactical ballistic missile by DRDO of India. It will be equipped with omnidirectional warheads and could be used for striking both tactical and strategic targets. Prithvi missile is a surface to surface battlefield missile. It uses a single state, twin engine liquid propulsion system and strap down inertial guidance with real time software incorporated in the onboard computer to achieve the desired accuracy during impact. Prithvi has higher lethal effect compared to any equivalent class of missiles in the world. Trishal missile is a quick reaction surface to air missile. It can also be used as an anti sea skimmer from a ship against low flying attacking missiles. It employs dual thrust propulsion stage using high energy solid propellant in a merging steel flow chamber, and is operated on command guidance initially with Ka band gathering and then transferred to the tracking radar. NAG anti tank missile NAG is a third generation fire and forget anti tank missile developed in India. It is one of five missile systems developed by the Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO, under the Integrated Guided Missile Development Program, IGN. The Shorya missile is a canister-launched hypersonic surface-to-surface -surface tactical missile developed by the Indian Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO, for use by the Indian Armed Forces. Similar to the BrahMos, Shorya is stored in composite canisters, which makes it much easier to store for long periods without maintenance as well as to handle and transport. The K-15 Sagarika missile is a nuclear-capable submarine-launched ballistic missile belonging to the K-missile family with a range of 750 km (466 miles). Sagarika can carry a payload of up to 500 kg (1,102 pounds). India's first laser-guided bomb, 
Sudarshan is the latest weapon system developed indigenous to occupy the niche of a precision delivery mechanism. It can be fitted to a 1,000 pound gravity bomb and can guide it to the target using lasers with a SEP, circular error probability, of 10 meters. Radars The DRDO has steadily increased its radar development. The result has been substantial progress in India's ability to design and manufacture high-power radar systems with locally sourced components and systems. Battlefield Surveillance Radar BFSRSR is a state-of-the-art lightweight, man-portable battery-powered electronic short-range battlefield surveillance radar developed by the DRDO to provide all-weather surveillance against intrusion. The radar is capable of searching a specified sector and performing track while scanning for multiple targets. Occam Class Laser System DRDO has developed a portable dual roll Occam laser system suitable for both anti sensor as well as dazzling applications with an operational range of 2.5 km. Ground Image Exploitation System DRDO has established an advanced research facility for exploitation of aerial imagery. Military and intelligence analysts can view live video imagery from UAVS powerful tools are also available for further exploitation of the vital information. Revathi Radar 3D Surveillance Radar System, Revathi, it is medium-range 3D surveillance radar to be fitted in ASW Corvette class of ships to detect air and sea surface targets. The radar is based on proven three-dimensional central acquisition radar, 3D car, technologies. Samyukta Samyukta is a joint program of DRDO and Indian Army. This program is software and integration intensive and meant for indigenous development of an integrated U system covering 1.5 MHz to 40 GHz. Sangraha development of all five types of electronic warfare ooh, systems have been completed under the project Sankraha, an indigenous SU program for Navy, and demonstrated to the users. Field evaluation of the systems for airborne platforms are in various stages of evaluation and that for the submarine platform, has been completed successfully. Weapon Locating Radar Weapon locating radar is developed based on the proven Rajendra radar technology. Its primary roles are location of enemy guns, mortars and rocket launchers and own fire direction. The system is developed as a joint collaboration between DRDO and Bharat Electronics Limited. Radars for the respective divisions of defense forces. Army Multifunction phased array radar and 3D surveillance radar for a cache missile weapon. System, Rajendra and 3D car respectively. Low level lightweight 2D radar for mountainous terrain air defense, the Ani. 3D tactical control radar for air defense, 3D TCR. Short range battlefield surveillance radar, 2D BFSRSR. Weapon locating radar. 3D WLR, SWATI. Multi mission radar, MMSR, dash in development. Open radar, in development. Through wall detection radar, in advanced development, prototypes ready. Ground penetration radar, in advanced development, prototypes ready. Air Force. Multi-function phased array radar and 3D surveillance radar for a cache missile weapon system, Rajendra and 3D car respectively. Active phased array radar for UNC, first unit delivered to IAF for enhanced trials. Low level 2D air defense radar, Indra 2. 3D low level lightweight radar, Bezel Shaw. 3D medium range surveillance radar for air defense. Rohini derivative of 3D car. 4D active array medium power radar for ad roll, ADRA MPR ready for user trials. Airborne electronically scanned array radar for Tejas Mark II, in development. SAR for UAVS, in development, prototypes delivered and in trials. Navy. 
maritime patrol radar for fixed and rotary wing aircraft, superseded by more advanced system, Ravathi. Maritime patrol radar with RS and DZR, 15 2004. 3D medium range surveillance radar for ASW Corvettes, in production, variant of 3D car. Multifunction phased array radar for air defense ship, in development. Tanks AJA AJA upgrade for the T-72 fleet, incorporating a mix of locally made and imported subsystems. 250 have been ordered. Arjun MBT The penultimate design was accepted by the Indian Army and is now in series production at HVF Avadi. Abhay DRDO is developing futuristic infantry tank, Arjun at Heavy Vehicle Factory Combat Vehicle, ICV, Abhay as a short-range battlefield surveillance radar, HVF, is in progress. Light Combat Aircraft Tejas The HAL Tejas is an Indian single-seat, single-jet engine, multi-role light fighter designed by the Aeronautical Development Agency, ADA and Hindustan Aeronautics Limited HAL, for the Indian Air Force and Navy. The aircraft has a tail-less compound delta wing configuration, which provides for high maneuverability. It came from the Light Combat Aircraft LCA, program, which began in the 1980s to replace India's aging MiG-21 fighters. LCA was officially named Tejas in 2003, meaning radiant in Sanskrit by the then Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee. Other Engineering Vehicles Sonars DRDO, Bell and the Indian Navy have developed and productionized a range of sonars and related systems for the Indian Navy's frontline combat ships. The Shivala class of frigates contain significant DRDO developed systems. These include APSA, Advanced Panoramic Sonar Hull Mounted, HUMVAD, Hull Mounted Variable Depth Sonar, HUMSA, follow on to the APSA series, the acronym HUMSA stands for Hull Mounted Sonar Array, NAGIN, Toad Array Sonar. Panchendri Aya, Submarine Sonar and Fire Control System Torpedoes In STL Varunastra Heavyweight Torpedo The heavyweight wire-guided torpedo called Varunastra and Thaksh Thermal Torpedo are suitable for use against both ships and submarines. The electrically powered Varunastra is stated to be in production. Shakti the NSTL-developed Shakti thermal torpedo runs on monopropellant fuel, which can burn without oxygen and so is useful in underwater operations. Marich Advanced Torpedo Defense System ATDS, is a state-of-the-art indigenous system for torpedo detection and countermeasures used by the Indian Navy. The Kali Kilo Ampere Linear Injector, is a linear electron accelerator being developed in India by the Defence Research Development Organisation, DRDO, and the Bebha Atomic Research Centre, BARC. It is not a laser weapon as commonly believed. It is designed to work in such a way that if an enemy missile is launched in Indian direction, it will quickly emit powerful pulses of relativistic electron beams, REB, and destroy the target. Unlike laser beams, it does not bore a hole in the target but thoroughly damages the onboard electronic systems. Scientists say that it can potentially be used as a beam weapon. Bursts of microwaves packed with gigawatts of power, 1 gigawatt is 1000 million watts, produced by this machine, when aimed at enemy missiles and aircraft will cripple their electronic system and computer chips and bring them down right away. In the next video, we would show the infantry weapons which are made in India or manufactured in India. We will also talk about the different kinds of utility vehicles which are manufactured in our homeland. We will also see some more engineer and support vehicles, mine protected vehicles and reconnaissance vehicles. We will also see the artillery used by Indian Army. We will have a look on the anti-tank missiles and the new ballistic missile Ashwin. 
we will see the air defense missiles which are made in India and a very important part of our Air Force are helicopters. Press the like button if you like the video and subscribe to the channel and press the bell to get the latest videos. Comment on the video to inspire us to make more such videos.